if I have a pure gas, like pure nitrogen, N2, then the molecular weight is easy to figure out. It's just 28 grams per mole, the molecular weight of nitrogen. But what if I have a mixture, like we typically do with air? In that case, the molecular weight of the mixture is the sum of the mole fractions or volumetric concentrations of each gas times its molecular weight. So for example, with dry air, it's composed of 78.1% nitrogen, N2, plus 20.9% oxygen, O2, plus 0.9% argon. The molecular weight of this mixture then is 0.781 times the molecular weight of nitrogen, which is 28 grams per mole, plus 0.209 times the molecular weight of oxygen, which is 32 grams per mole, plus 0.009 times the molecular weight of argon, which is 40 grams per mole. This is 28.9 grams per mole. And what if I have some water vapor in this air? So it's not dry air, it is in fact moist air. We'll do an example where the water vapor makes up 1% of the mixture. So Y H2O is 1%. Well, in this case, our molecular weight is equal to 0 0.01 for the water times the molecular weight of water, which is 18 grams per mole. And now we still have everything else, but they're reduced by 1%. So there's only 99% of the other stuff instead of 100% of it. So we have 0 0.99 times all of these terms that we had above, which turned out to be 28.9 grams per mole. And this is equal to 28.8 grams per mole. Notice that the moist air actually has a lower molecular weight than the dry air does because we've substituted in water, which has a lower molecular weight of 18 grams per mole for some of the other components. So in general, if we have moist air, then the molecular weight is equal to Y times Y of the H2O times the molecular weight of H2O plus 1 minus Y of H2O times the molecular weight of the dry air.